little episode on the streets. Um, I don't know what to say about this one other than two cool brothers. I mean, anybody who's listening, all I could do is shake my head with listening to this guy. You know, I mean, it's really just talking to myself, you know. You know. But it's nice to see a, 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 a millennial as aware as this and say and and hearing some of the things he said. So it, it you know, uh, this is enjoyable. Uh, this is enjoyable. Um, him and his brother. I didn't get to speak to his brother long enough, but I, I can't imagine it'd be the same conversation. Uh, so you know, I mean, just, just enjoy this one. Uh, and of course, look, I need some help. So uh, I really would like to get some patrons and patrons, uh, you know, so go to my Patreon thing. If any of you guys out there can, you know, like afford a, a few bucks a month, because if I can get up to like, a, you know, 50, 100 people giving me, you know, five bucks a month, which isn't much, you know, I mean, it's a cafe latte, you know. But if you can afford like five bucks a month, give me a you know on the, the Patreon, it'll go a long way to help me budget and know what's coming in, and I can do a lot more that way. Uh, and it helps, you know, and I get a you know when a week, when the weekend turns rainy or something, and I miss a weekend. At least I know I can count on that coming in to cover expenses. So um, please do. You know, please do. Go out there and do it. So anyway, if you like this, you like it. If you care, you share. Uh, subscribe. Keep on subscribing because, you know, they're knocking us off. And then, uh, you know, and Christmas is upon us. So uh, go, get, go get a T-shirt. Get a sweatshirt. Go get a cell phone cover and uh, make a president of someone, of, uh, for someone and, and get something for yourself. Yeah, it's all good, right? So here we go on the streets. I've done a lot of research on Louisiana, and this, I feel very bad for what's happened to Louisiana between Katrina and the oil spill. Then y'all are losing like a hundred yards of land per day due to the water encroaching on the marsh that has drilled all the freaking oil out down there. Yeah, Dad's Filet wants to capture the Mississippi River and take it down the other route. So yeah, we're not very good stewards of our land, are it's we? It's a lot of stuff going on down here. I know. I was coming from my. They, they threw my flight up, so I had to fly into Baton Rouge and. I saw the oil refineries. I was like, my goodness. But see, the companies that run these oil refineries and all the... I'm an energy lover, as you can tell. I love energy and I study it. But the, the, a lot of these corporations are based out of your neighbor, Texas. In Texas, they don't really trash their environment as bad as they trash us. But yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, it is. It's really crazy. Are you, uh, have you ever studied any of the... Um because energy is everything. I mean, you oh, know, everything. Yeah, yeah. I would love us to switch over to algae fuel because it's abundant. It can be grown. It's a renewable, and it's better than that damn ethanol. Ethanol is corrosive. So oh I'm, yeah. I'm in the landscape business, so I use weed eaters, blowers, edgers, and hedges, and that uses two cycle fuel mixed with gasoline. I use premium 93 octane to mix my two cycle fuel up, and I have noticed that the ethanol it wears your. Yeah. Um, what are the, the what are the things? Yeah, called? it's not good for your engine. It's not good for your engine, and it is corrosive. Yes, it's an alcohol-based fuel versus oil. Yes, the hydrocarbon. And you, I can't find a gas station anywhere around here doesn't add ethanol. Well, we have ethanol-free gasoline in Atlanta. It's like three twenty-five a gallon, and um, but it's worth it in the long run. It's worth it in the long run, but. Um, it was all the only reason why we're using it so much is because it was subsidized by the federal government, starting with uh, Mr. W. And the corn farmers up in Wisconsin and Iowa and Illinois, they are literally being propped up by the government. Yes. We're, we're spending taxpayer money on a quote unquote green fuel that does not contain the energy efficiency as gasoline. It, it contains two thirds the energy. A gallon of gasoline will burn slower and more efficiently than a gallon of ethanol. It's proven. Yes. So it wouldn't exist if the government wouldn't have damn subsidized it. I, I think big government is destroying America. Totally. We're, we're, we're 20, you just you just 20, won my my twenty one trillion dollars in debt, <laughs> yeah. and ain't nobody doing shit about it. I know twenty one trillion. Yeah. That's an unfathomable number. Most people can't even fathom a billion, but a trillion. I know. 
Because none of this money disappears. It just goes somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You know? Exactly. doesn't go to us. Now, have you ever studied or looked into uh, the free energy technology? Free energy technology? Yeah. What do you mean? Tesla? Like solar? Oh, Tesla? Like the car? The electric car? No. Nikolai Tesla. Oh, no, Warren. Tesla. Nikolai Tesla. Look this guy up. Probably one of the... The most unsung genius is Russia. No, he's American. But he, look him up. This is what happened. This is a great story. He was tasked with finding free energy. He invented how to draw energy out of the air. He made this machine. That you didn't have to transmit the energy through wires or anything else. You could buy his box, and it would draw energy out of the air forever. You never needed to refuel or anything. J.P. Morgan was funding his research. When he went to J.P. Morgan and said, here it is, I got this, and J.P. Morgan went, where's the meter? Oh, they want to make money off of it. And he says, well, there is none. They buy this machine, and it lasts forever, and it, they have energy, abundant energy, free, clean, abundant energy forever. J.P. Morgan cut his funding, burned down his laboratory, and put him in obscurity. Wow. Nikolai Tesla. And it is just like the car is, is, is spelled. But Nikolai Tesla, look him up. There's also a documentary that that goes into great detail about him uh, called Thrive. T H R I V E. Nikolai Tesla. Yeah. Okay. So you want to do some research on him? He's a, probably one of the smartest men that ever lived. And he he warned us that if we were going to go down... Serbian-American inventor, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, and futures news was not presented. Also in the current electrical supply systems. Born 1856, died 1743. That's him. That's him. Huh. Nikolai Tesla. It's interesting because the car, the Teslas, yeah. got his last name. Yeah, yeah. They, t- they, try to, they try to, you know... Ooh, play off of his name. So what do you think about uh, Elon Musk? you think he's a pioneer? you think he's just a, 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 a capitalist who just tapped into a market at the right time? I think he's a little bit of both. A little bit of both? Yeah, I think he's all all, all about that. He's cert- certainly eccentric and yeah. certainly a genius, yeah. but uh, I think he's He's also a little bit of both. I think he's kind of playing. Because, I mean, if, if obviously he knows about Nikolai Tesla. Of course. You know. Of course. So he has to know that these free energy machines exist. One of the things Donald Trump said when he, during his inaugural address, he says, we will unleash the hidden technologies to advance mankind. Hidden technologies. So the uh, elites have been holding back a lot of this. Why? Of course they have. Because once they know we are free of their control. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah they, they. You know, the game changers is the internet. The internet is, is giving yeah. people so much access to information at this at the click of a finger. And that's and why they're trying to control it and shut it. Oh, down. they will shut it down. They, yeah. they, 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 they do not want to lose their grip on us. The one percent controls the damn world. You got it. It's really sad how most Americans are asleep and they just don't know what's really going on. Most Americans are just yeah. like marching to the slaughterhouse. I mean, yeah. they're they're sheep and they, in condition. They, they, but the, the media is a joke. It's all propaganda. It's yeah. I don't care if you watch CNN or Fox News. They're, you they're got all, it. They're all controlled by the same machine. And, and they do a very good job. They're a very well-oiled machine. Oh, yeah. Very well-oiled machine. They, 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 they control our food supply. They control the media. They control everything. And the average American just lives in their little bubble. And they're brainwashed. And we're obsessed with what um, the Kardashians are doing. And what freaking Beyonce and Jay-Z are doing instead of... You know, your local state governments are doing, and before you, before you know it, it's like 
you, you hear the analogy about how the the frog is in the pot of water. You got you it. Turn the flame on at a low low level. He'll get used to the heat, and before you know, it, you didn't boil the frog. But if you throw him in the pot while the water's boiling, he's gonna jump out. So what they're doing is they're keeping it little by little by little by little, and before you know it, game over. So Huxley in Brave New World said. The people will learn to love their servitude. Of course. What's it called? A Stockholm Syndrome. Yes. We'll learn to love our oppression. And I think that a lot of people are, we're, we're marching towards that. Cause oh, yeah. What, what it is, is, see, I'm 33, and I don't know how old you are, but you're in a different generation than I am, obviously. But we're about a generation away. Unless the young generation gets awakened, I think in the next 25, 30 years, this country is finished. Sooner. You think so? Yeah. The advan- so? Yeah, the advancements in technology that are putting us in this electronic, tyrannical grid are well advanced. And uh, like you say, we're sleeping, walking on. People pay well, that, you know, hundreds of dollars to get this thing. Why well, why a young lady one time said, I hear they're going to chip us one day, keep control of us. So why didn't they do that? You just spend $800 on an iPhone that gives them where you are, what you're saying, the temperature around you, your temperature. What you're doing, what you're eating. Right. And a lot of the information, we voluntarily throw it out there. Thank you. Yeah, we voluntarily give them where we're What's Facebook, if not a, that makes us the product. Right. The things we put on there, they sell. Right, right. Oh, yeah, and the the corporations are buying our information so they can bombard us with marketing stuff. It's, 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 it's quite disturbing, but what's more disturbing is we the people outnumber them, you know, millions to one. But So only a small percentage of us need to stand up to Only pressure. a small percentage of us need to stand up. It can't be one person here. One has to be a, a collective. Because, you know, when one person stands up and he has a lot of influence, oh, sure. they get rid of him. Yeah. But if it was a lot of us then they could be defeated, and that's what they don't want. They don't want a massive... Yeah, they don't crowd. want us uniting or getting together and aware of that and to be aware of that. That's, and that's that, the problem. I yeah. mean, dividing countries has been used since... Looks what just time. happened. You know, I mean, they have a hard time because, you know, the truth is going to always come forward and leak out. The more you repress it, it's, it's suppress it, it's like water. It's right. going to seek gonna out. Up. Yeah, yep. it's going to yep. find a yep. way to get out there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hi. Oh, can my grandpa take a picture with you? Oh, sure. I'd be happy to. Yeah. Yeah. Like giving him a tour. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Where are you guys from? He's from Morocco. I'm from Morocco. Morocco. Morocco, North Africa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when we, oh. All right. One, two, three. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good time. Yes, sir. So, uh, where do you get your information from? How, what makes you so aware? Um, well, it started with 9/11. Yes. And um, I was, I've been, yeah, I saw that. And, and what, what blew my mind about 9/11 was, um, I saw. It, it really, to be honest with you, it started with Alex Jones and Infowars. There you go. I don't believe everything he says. You got to. It's, it's so much crap out there. You can't believe everything. Yeah. But you, have you, you have to be discerning for yourself. You have to have that yeah. discernment. Exactly. And I'm a very spiritual person, so Amen. When, when something doesn't resonate with my spirit, I start to question it. Yes. And I start to do more research. Yes. So you, you, what I like to do is I like to connect dots. You know, you can start off. You can go on the internet and create. You know, the Uncle Sam, piss Uncle Sam's blog and put anything you want in there. I can put Scotty's blog and put anything I want in there. But if you actually do the research and look at the facts and do they match what reality is, like, do the facts match what's going on on the ground? So that's how I get my information. But, um, yeah, start off with InfoWars and 9 11. Yeah. And then how 9 um, it, 11, it, it was basically um, able to bring forth the implementation of the Patriot Act and the Homeland Security and all this crap. Pretty damn obvious if you were paying attention. Oh, of course. And um, what blew my mind about 9-11 was, okay, we see the two planes hit the towers, but why did Building 7 collapse? Why did Building 7 collapse? And and if you look at the way those buildings dropped, they imploded perfectly like a controlled demolition. And they said that there were firefighters who actually wanted to give their accounts about how they heard explosions in those towers, but they hushed them. They would not let them speak. And they said that during the cleanup of 9-11, you know, New York, I've been in New York. You've been in New York? Yeah. I've been in New York. So 
you know, most of the garbage that is collected in the New York City area goes to like New Jersey or Pennsylvania. They said they had. Oh, it goes to China. <laughs> they went to no. They sent the the debris, the steel from us. Oh, from the steel. I, 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 don't, I don't doubt that. Yeah. They said they cleaned that stuff up yeah. so fast. Immediately, immediately they started cleaning yep. up. Yeah, that was a crime scene. A crime scene. You don't clean it, up a it, crime it, scene. It's a it's a tragedy. Yeah. I mean, the Most High will punish all those who are responsible yeah. in the end, but it is it will be a shame if the people that were responsible for for, for murdering thousands of innocent Americans don't face justice in this country. Amen, brother. But, now you know what I'm doing out here, majority, trying to get that truth you're, out. You're fighting a, a uphill battle. I'm fighting the battle with you. I'm just fighting it in a different zip code. Well, no one said it'd be easy. It's not easy. I mean, no, you know, but, they, they, but, but, they, but, but, but my generation is we, we have hope because we right. grew up with the internet and we grew up with alternative information and we recognize that most of the stuff that they're feeding us is propaganda and I feel so sorry for my dad. My dad's 60. I'm almost 57. They're both brainwashed, man. And you know, me being a black man, I'm a Republican. I'm a very conservative individual. But um, my mom and dad, they, 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 they trust this country way too much. They, they, they grew up in the era where America's great and this, that, and that. And I love my country. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, sure. I love my country, but I don't love the wickedness going on. Well, it's a perversion. They, it's, at least we've been getting it. The minute they signed the Declaration of Independence, there were people trying to usurp this country. Before the ink was dried on the Constitution, there were people trying to usurp it. So the evil is always, we've, since the beginning of time, it's always been a fight of, oh, you know, yeah. us, the, oh, the freedom, yeah. the loving people against the oppressors. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and you and know. Where, where there's great power, there will be great corruption. I mean, there, there, it, it's, it's always good for there to be a balance. I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, everybody has their wants and their and their desires to, to, to be implemented. Everybody wants to be in control, but at the end of the day, the will of the people is what really matters, man. Like. Don't use your power. The will of God. Right, right, right. Absolutely. Do not abuse your power. And the moment that America turned their back and pissed in God's face is the moment that we signed our death warrant. I mean, we we, yeah. we, we we're so much wicked. I can go on for hours and hours sure. and hours. I mean, just the 50 million babies we've... All the abortion, yeah. 50 million babies aborted. You know, men marrying men and women marrying. That's a mockery. Yes. It's a total mockery. You know so, exactly. So what's what next? <laughs> you know, when you open up Pandora's box, you open up the door for everything. I got I got something you might want to read. You know, and some, you know, you know, there's some, um, some sects of the Democratic Party. Uh, they, they had this group called NAMBLA. They, they have yeah. some people that want to legalize pedophilia. Yeah, yeah. Omega Dynamics. Who's the author? Ex-Marine and officer and. And, that, and that's another branch of our of our government that is like okay they they have jobs to do they they want to serve their country. My brothers both served in the Navy. And my brother told me that they did things that he didn't agree with. Oh sure. But I mean, what can they do? I mean, this is their livelihood, you know. Yeah. It's sad, man. It's really sad. It, 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 it's only because we the people have 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 deviated away from yes from righteousness. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we and but it didn't used to we've be been programmed sad. to do that. Yeah, do you understand? You already brought it up. The powers that be know the human psyche. They know what motivates us. And it's not that hard to, to know that. I mean it's fear. Of course. Fear you is know. a form of control. Thank you. And they control, of course, all the information or most of it until that thing the internet like you brought up came along. And that's why they're trying to get a handle on that now. Let's go ahead. I hope that if they if they push hard on trying to control the internet, the people have a massive uprising. Because right well, I, now I thought it happened already. I mean, look, I, they're trying to get rid of the info wars. They, we shut down. Um, we, well, we we did push back against the um, what's it called net neutrality. Yes. Um, this generation, my generation, and the generation coming after mine, they call my generation the millennials, and then they call right. the new generation Generation Z. They had a massive uprising because this is something we grew up with. Like I grew up in the 80s, well, the 90s and 2000s, and the internet was internet's been around for a long time. It was out. I don't remember when it started exactly, but I know it, I know it had something to do with with defense years ago. Yeah, that's where it started. That's everything starts out with defense. Right. <laughs> Interstate. Yeah, defense. it all starts. Right. I mean, are you with any defense that comes right. up, it goes through the military. So out. we cherish the internet. It's something that we take very seriously. 
and we use it every day. We're using it on our phones. I mean, it can be used for good or evil. But, but here's the deal. Here's another thing. When someone asks Steve Jobs about, you know, well, your kids are going to be getting that new iPhone that's coming out, he goes, I don't allow my kids to use any of this stuff. Really? They're going to a school where they have to use books. Oh, they yeah. don't use computers. Oh, yeah. So he knows that this was set up as a means to go ahead and brainwash and control us and get us into an electronic grid and then make it a cashless society. Yep. They already got this company up in Wisconsin where people are getting microchips to yeah. access their workplace so they can like put their thumbprint right. or their hand up against the little device and scan the Bio. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was very creepy. Um, it was creepy. And, and I, I just took a, we just took a family cruise down to the uh, Haiti and Jamaica, and they, they they're still way behind the times. They don't they don't even use well, cars. Well, all that money was stolen from them anyway by the Clintons. All you after that. Oh man, the Clintons. Oh, oh god. god. Huh? Oh god. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. One of the things, I mean, lock her up was in a campaign slogan. One of the things I get out here, a lot of, I mean, people say, oh, I'm happy with Trump doing this and that. But why isn't she in jail? That's the biggest complaint I get. I know. I know. know, That's it. You or me go do what she did. We will be under the jail. (laughs) Trump, Trump is, Trump was an anomaly. He won. Oh, yeah. He won and he turned uh, traditional politics upside down. The only problem with Trump is he can't stay off of Twitter and he's such an egomaniac. I, 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 did, I don't like uh, Hillary at all. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm a Republican. I'm a very hard for conservative. And, and like I said, me being a black male, knowing the plight of our people in this country, still going on in this country, you know, some of it's self inflicted, some of it's just historical. The Democrats' policies hurt us more than they help us. I mean, it's, well, you know, it's you know your history well enough to know that it was the Republicans, the Republicans that, that got that. Thank you. The Democratic Thank you. Party was the Ku Klux Klan. Right. Yeah. Right. And but then, they, they, the media drives this narrative that the Republicans are racist, the Democrats are your friends, they're the coalition of the minorities, they got your back. But at the end of the day, they're 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 proposing legislation that kills jobs, raises taxes. Um, and at the end of the day, they don't care about us. Oh, no. They only care about getting getting votes. Look at the illegals. Look at the caravan. Like Trump said. See my question, right? There, is, there are about six billion people living in conditions as bad or worse, or worse than Central South American countries. Are we supposed to let them all in? Man, you can go to some country. I just, I, dude, I just got back from Haiti. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> they won't a, let you get back on the boat without trying to. The shithole of shitholes are they, there. Yeah. They're, they're, dude, it's yeah. bad. I know. It's really bad. I know. Like, they literally have armed security, like, so many yards behind the tourist area to make sure that the, the locals don't come out of yeah. the hills to come attack the tourists. True. It's bad. Uh, Honduras, so many places in Sub Saharan Africa, and there. South Asia, yeah. it's horrible. Yep. They got it. They, Mexico and Central America actually aren't too shabby when you start comparing them to some other places around the world. Actually, if it wasn't for the corruption, they would be powerhouses. They got planted resources. Up the agricultural land. Yes. Yeah, I know. Growing season that lasts all year round. No, no winter. Right. They could grow all kinds of stuff. But if the corruption is yeah, killing them. And the, the drugs, mostly the drug oh, yeah, cartels. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The drug cartels are really bad. Yeah, I get to speak to a lot of Central South Americans here that come by. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, and I always Hillary ask her, Clinton the, did say one thing that was true. She did say that the reason why the drug cartels are so powerful is because we've allowed them to become powerful. And the reason why they make so much money is because we consume a lot of their dope. America does do a lot of dope. And you're also aware of the fact that the CIA brings it. Of course they do. They, I mean, if we can go take over countries and, and, and load up aircraft carriers and bomb the yeah. hell out of all these countries, we can certainly stop cocaine and meth and heroin from being shipped across the and border. And the big banks wouldn't exist without drug money. Of course they would. I, I went to Miami. That's a drug city. Go oh, God. It was built off cocaine. I grew up in Florida. Man. Oh, really? I, oh, God. Everybody down there has, has got their fingers in it. I mean, I look, what, look what happened in the election there in Dayton, uh, you know, Broward County. In this every, past. every election, Broward County. It, it's so corrupt, it's beyond. You know, it's they do it openly. Place. I love South Florida, but it's, it's gotten to a point now where, like you said, it's, it's corruption is the norm. Yep. Like I said, you, you, they, they're, they're doing things incrementally. And the way the human brain is conditioned, when you see things so much, you become desensitized to it. So that means that over time, 
you know, you begin programming, this is normal, that this is okay. So when you start seeing it just in your face, this is what we're going to do. This is what's going on. No big deal. So You brought it up about them trying to legalize pedophilia. Of course. I mean, you got cartoons now. Of course. Targeted to children that emphasize child sex. Right. It's insane. Insane. And what about, and I was just talking to someone from Lafayette. They had the, you heard, of course, about the training book tour. No. <laughs> training book tour. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You gotta, wait, wait. You gotta, wait. We can't look this one up. Look it up, the tranny big tour. They have the most horrible looking demonic trannies That's going right. around. Hello? Oh, where y'all at? Oh, okay, I'm right here. Okay, okay, cool. I see y'all. I, I see it. Okay, so I'm talking to this man. You know what I mean? He, he talking about stuff that we he talking about stuff that we like to talk about. So, yeah. <laughs> My brother, he, he was in the navy. He, he oh, was, uh, hell no. Everybody in the military knows. Yeah. Okay, Steven. Uh, yeah, he, he was in the Navy, and he, and he was lost. He was drunk off the Kool-Aid for a while. So I used to be a big, and I still do watch Fox News and CNN just so I can kind of just see what's going on and what they're saying. Sure. I mean, it's good to always know what, what people are saying. But I oh, see your right, enemy. I, right, I see right through the bullshit. Sure. It's, it's like... They tell half-truths. Right, half-truths. Yeah. There you go. You won't ever hear them talking about building number seven. Well, they won't ever talk about that. Do you believe that we really went to the moon? Uh, yeah, I do. I you believe we went to the moon. Yeah, but I, a matter of fact, probably more often than we know. Okay, so yeah. why haven't we went back? Well, who knows we haven't? Who's saying we haven't? I mean, they're going to hide things from us. That you know, that, you got to realize that Na uh, NASA. So where has, the hell did this flat Earth theory people come from? Is that is that, oh, that's, is that, is that that's part of the mystery? Is that organized noise? Or, yeah. You think so? Yeah. So you think that's by design? That yeah. This whole flat Earth movement is. They're going to throw stuff out there to keep us, you know, thinking things that aren't true. Man, I want you to talk to my brother. <laughs> I don't know where he's at, but yeah, he, he's he's big into conspiracy theories and stuff like. He's a huge Alex Jones fan as well. Right. Yeah, I've been on the show a few times. Really? Yeah. And the, the the thing about it is, all these big tech companies and um, social media companies, YouTube, Google, Facebook, they're all owned by liberals. Yeah. So they pretty much set the narrative on what can be talked about and what can't be talked about. And if we disagree with what you're talking about, we're going to shut you down. It's like they yes. shut down Alice Jones. Yes. And the judges have ruled that, well, these are private corporations, so they can pretty much do what they want. So they don't have to respect Except the Except they advertise themselves as a town square, open forum. Yeah, right. So they're contradicting themselves. We know what that is. We know what they, I mean, they've been before Congress, what, maybe 14 times. Every time they get up, they say, oh, no, we're not. We're not. We didn't know. No, we're, 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 yeah, we're liberal. We have but but we're, 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 we don't and, censor. And the liberals, the thing that the liberals are always talking about is free speech. We, I mean, I'm sorry, they always preach intolerance. Yes. They're always talking about inclusivity and love everybody. But at the end of the day, they're not they're hypocrites. What they preach. They're hypocrites. They're hypocrites. We, we believe in inclusion if you are talking about what we want to talk look, about. Look what I do. I'm out here to have conversations like this and hopefully with, I mean, I like to get good debates with, I mean, I challenge liberals. Right. I'm out here challenging them. Right. Prove me wrong. Right. Prove me wrong. And they can't do it. They can't do it. That's because liberals are emotional creatures. Thank you. And at the end of the day, facts don't care about feelings. Yes. You know, at the end of the day, you can sit here and tell me something that's that's ear candy all day long, but if the you know, reality on the ground is totally different than what you're telling me, then I gotta go with what's on the ground. I can't go off of what you're telling me. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, we're we're brave enough to go out. We want we don't care if we're uncomfortable with the truth. Exactly. I'm I, I, I'm 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 taking a picture of that. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, that is a huge problem. Like, if you can't talk about a problem, you, you're never going to be able to get to the solution. Well, my to, my thing to the you know, I I grew up, I was out in Berkeley. I was part of the original free speech movement. That's how old I am. Really? And. 
It, I mean, to see it flip 180 degrees where you got liberals now stopping opposing thought. Stopping opposing thought. Is an abomination to me. Abomination. Abomination. But hey, there is pushback. There oh, is yeah. You got groups coming up like... Um, I'm a member of this group called Atlanta Young Republicans. You got young generations of people who are pushing back now. Yes. I'm, I'm not into the whole... Um, Let's stop all immigration because I believe that immigrants do help the country to a degree. Of course, we do. Um, I'm not. I'm not into the, the white supremacist type of dudes. I'm not into all those crazy guys. But they only make up like a small, small, small minute portion. Exactly. And, and then on the liberal yeah. side, the pedophiles. And they blow it out of proportion. Right, 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 right. Propaganda. Exactly. But you got groups like the Proud Boys who are coming yes. up. Yes. And they're going toe to toe with some of these antifa liberal groups. Yes. And that's a good thing because. The only way to stop this stuff is to fight back. Thank you. So, and sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. I'm not advocating violence, but well, that's you're what, not, that's you're, what this is about. It's about a warrior class that does not just sit back and say, you know, right, uh, be right. comfortable. Christ is going to take care of it. No, right. we have to be warriors right, for Him. We have right, to stand up right. for that truth and fight the enemy that's in front of us. Right. I mean, turn the other cheek doesn't mean just sit there and take an ass whoop. <laughs> Like if somebody if somebody's going to, you know, attack me, like if you're in a boxing match, you're never gonna defeat your opponent just dodging yeah, them and exactly. you gotta throw some punches too. <laughs> I mean Can't wait for him to wear out. <laughs> so yeah. They're they're not gonna quit. No. And, and and what happens is when you start to when they when they do what they're doing is they're trying to shame you for being the conservative. Oh, yeah. They're trying to shame you. Yeah. You don't apologize like that guy. You don't be politically correct, and you keep chopping the wood. And, 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 and we live in such a media-driven society, whenever certain legislation happens, or whenever there's a victory for our side, they're going to cry, they're going to whine, they're going to bitch, but over time they're going to eventually forget it. Something else is going to come on to distract them. That's what how we do is keep like. our focus and our eye on the goal. Brother man. Yes, sir. Uh, here's a, here's a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton. Okay. <laughs> now on the back of that is my YouTube channel. You okay. know they're knocking off conservatives. They they keep on knocking off subscribers. So I need subscribers. Okay. Subscribe to my channel. You can get a lot of my designs and apparel. You can walk around, piss liberals off, come with a trigger back guarantee. If you don't piss a liberal, you get uh, you get your money back. That was terrific. He shouldn't be off. Well, you want to listen. He shouldn't be off. You want to listen to the people they try to silence, brother. I mean, those and, are the and, ones and you that's listen. That's a concern. Like, if, he, if they can silence him, that means that anybody can be can be shut down. I thought it was going to be a backlash out of that. Alex Jones has a lot of fans. Well, there was. He, his subscribers almost doubled <coughs> after the ban. When are we going to have a, 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 a non-liberal um, <coughs> social media platform that lets people that really believe in free speech? That's what YouTube was. YouTube was that. They feed you and they come in with that. They lure you in. But there is talk, and this is it. This is what I'm tired of hearing, the talk. I want to see some action. There is talk that there are some billionaires behind the works that are coming up with a whole other platform that's going to be truly open source. I mean, they do have some, they're trying to get, you know, like they get uh, uh, Britain, which used to be Real Vid. And oh, yeah. a few others that are, are there's a couple, but they don't have that same power that you took. Exactly, has now. because they, they they got a monopoly on the on the whole on the bigger platform, right. and it's hard to build up when you I'm haven't got the when you got when you got right. such big competition. Like who wants a demo? Yeah, but I mean, if somebody would have come out with a brand new internet, here we are. <laughs> you know, it, yes, it is free, open source. It would drive a lot of people there because what people want gravitate towards something new anyway. Right. Oh, new! Oh, would it be the first? And 
and uh, you know, and again, it's just talk. All I hear is talk. It's like lock her up. Yeah. It's talk. All I hear is talk. I want to see some action. Me too. Let me. Uh, this your car? Yeah, man. Yeah. Check out. Oh, thank you, sir. Take care. All right. Thank you.